Welcome back to Mike's Man Cave and welcome back to another drone related video. Now this will be my very last video ever on the GoPro Karma drone. Make sure you watch this video to the end, okay? This is very, very important if you've got a GoPro Karma drone that does not work. Because right at the end of the video, after explaining to you why not to send your drone to France for repair, at the end of the video, I will give you a legitimate and real alternative to get your camera back up in the air and flying. I did a video quite some time ago, and I'll link that video down below for you, on my Karma drone that stopped working. It started having the disconnection or reconnection problem and the gimbal wouldn't activate and it just became a brick. So it no longer worked, I couldn't do anything with it. Um, I did keep it for a while and then I considered sending it to France to a company that claims to be able to repair drones. Now, I don't speak French and I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce the name of the company or the owner. So I'm going to put the name of the company up here. So this is a company that claimed to be able to fix the GoPro drone. They also made a lot of other claims which we'll be able to look at. And I was going to send my drone off to these guys to get fixed. And luckily I did film a video before posting it away. And I, I filmed that video, I uploaded it to YouTube and it's still there today. And I woke up the next day and I had countless messages from uh, Nicole and Louis and I'll put their names up on the screen. And they are the owners of the company that claim to be able to fix this drone. And they were harassing and threatening messages, comments on my video. Now, unfortunately, I didn't even think about it too much. I contacted YouTube and I had them banned or blocked from my channel. And YouTube took the um, comments away. And they did it very, very quickly. And I never even got any screenshots of it, which is a real shame because there was just, it was just like a madman raging. Like there was just comment after comment after comment getting into a frenzy of craziness. And I thought, what's going on here? Like this is really strange. I didn't say anything bad in the video at all. And you, you can check out the video down below and watch it. It's had quite a few views. I didn't say a single bad thing. I actually made the video to promote these people saying, hey, look, I'm sending my drone off to these people to get it fixed because they're the only ones that know how to fix it. After all these crazy, crazed messages, what I did, I started looking into it a little bit more before sending my drone off halfway around the world. The first thing I did is I thought, okay, these people claim to be a large international multinational company that deals with drones and they also claim to have GoPro, the ex Karma GoPro engineers working for their company to repair these drones. Now that didn't make too much sense to me really because think about it, is a GoPro engineer that's working for GoPro and that lives in Silicon Valley in the US going to relocate to France to fix drones? I don't think so. I, I, honestly, I don't think so. Now, they also claim to have an agreement with GoPro to fix these drones, which is an outright lie. And up until yesterday, this person here is still claiming on Facebook, on his own Facebook page and group that he runs, that he's got an agreement with GoPro to repair drones on behalf of GoPro. Yet yeah, he's charging us to do it, but anyway. You can easily work out that these are lies because all you need to do is contact GoPro customer service and say, hey, do you have a deal with anyone or is there any way I can send my Karma drone for repair? And they will say no. 
Now, I have actually contacted them and specifically asked GoPro about this person and about the company and they outright told me that they have no agreement with anyone, they've never heard of this person and they've never heard of the company. The next thing I thought, okay, so I thought let's find out what this business actually looks like. So I got on the internet, it's 2023, so you can do this yourself, type in their address. Type in the address of the company and see what comes up. Got some sort of abandoned house slash shed in some fringe one donkey village that comes up. There's no business there. The business doesn't exist. You can search the entire internet as hard as you like. Like you try and find a picture or any reference of this company. It doesn't exist. There's no shop front. There's no business. There's, there's no company. It does not exist. Maybe the name exists. And it, look, this guy might run his company from a one donkey village in, um, in France. Who knows? But he's making it out to be this big international company that fixes hundreds of drones and it's got, you know, engineers from GoPro working there and all that, which is all lies. I, I have actually contacted this person and asked them to show me any evidence at all of anything that he does. And he just gets aggressive and abusive. And also since posting up that video, I have been contacted by several people, even people in France, that told me that this person is a scam and that the company and the business as he represents it does not exist he might, he might be able to fix the drone. Chances are, maybe he can, but it seems like he might be doing it in his mother's basement, rather than this big international company that he represents himself to be. Now to me, if a person lies about one thing, he is likely to lie about another thing. Any person that lies to me or misrepresents himself to me, I can no longer trust or deal with. It's that simple. If you lie about how big your company is and your association with GoPro, then I'm sure you're lying about a lot of other things and you're probably going to rip me off. Now, if he, if he turned around and he said, look, I know how to fix the drone. I'm doing it at home on my kitchen table. Here's me doing it. I don't have a company. I just know how to fix these things. I figured it out through hard work. I wouldn't have a problem with it. I'd go, right here, here you go, have the drone, try and fix it for me. But because he's lied and misrepresented himself as something that he's not, to me, that makes him a criminal. He's committing fraud. He's telling people one thing when he is doing another thing. He's saying he is something that he isn't. That is my take on the whole thing. And I highly recommend anyone that's got any thoughts about sending their drone to this company here that is owned by this person here, don't do it. Do not do it because he's lying to you. Ask him two simple questions. A photo of his production facility, a photo of his shop front, a photo of any business signage that he might have out the front of his business. Doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. He can't provide it to you. He'll literally go ballistic on you if you ask for any of those things. If you ask for any evidence of this person, of his claims, he will go ballistic. Now, the, the company also claims to have branches all over the world. And they just happen to claim to have a branch right where I live. So I went looking for this branch doesn't exist. Now the branch is run by a person. They, they, list, they list this on their website. They list all the international branch managers names on their website. Search any of those people. They don't exist on the internet. They don't exist. You can't find this person on the internet. You can't find the branch, the company or the business address or any reference that this address exists in Australia. 
Now, let's get on to the good news. I've actually been in contact for quite some time with a person based in Australia, and his name is Ben. I won't say his full name on YouTube, even though he is on YouTube, but it's Ben. He's based in, I believe, the Australian Capital Territory, and I have been communicating with him for several months now, and he's been working on a solution to get the Karma drone flying again. And he's uploaded a video, I believe it was yesterday. He's got a very, very small YouTube channel, even smaller than mine. And I think he, at the time of uploading the video, he had about 200 subscribers. He is a very, very smart man. I've watched the video about three times and it just goes over my head. I don't understand what he's doing and even what he's saying. I do understand some parts of it, but I don't understand on, I, I don't understand the whole stuff that he talks about. I don't know electronics in the way he does. Anyway, long story short, this guy's worked out how to fix the drone. He's fixed quite a number of drones now that were had the had the connection issue, the gimbal issue, they were just bricks, and now they're happy flying drones. Now he is not associated with GoPro, he doesn't claim to be associated with GoPro, but he has fixed drones. He knows how to get the karma back in the air. Now he's uploaded a free video that you can watch that shows you step by step on how to fix your drone. Now I will link that video down below in the description box for you. And what I'd really like you to do is once you click on that video, subscribe to his channel. It doesn't cost anything. It doesn't cost you anything, but it will give him a chance to monetize his channel once he gets to a thousand subscribers. And look, all the hard work this man's done, he deserves everything he can get. So please, when you click on that link, the first thing I want you to do is subscribe to his channel. It makes no difference to your life, but it makes a difference to his life. And then once you've done that, you can watch the video and it will show you how to get your Karma drone back into the air. What I want you to do then is leave a comment down below and let Ben know that you came from here, from Mike's Man Cave. Just leave a quick comment. Just say, hey, Mike's Man Cave's video sent me to your video. Thank you very much for posting this, whatever. Give people some encouragement, okay? YouTube is a tough gig for anyone. And he's obviously spent a lot of time researching and the video production that he's done is extremely professional, okay? It, it's really good. Now, if you're like me and you're electronically handicapped, I wouldn't be able to do it. Even though, even after speaking to Ben last night, who told me that it's easy, anyone can do it, I can't. Trust me, I can't. Okay? So, what I would be doing is contacting Ben, because for a small fee, he will fix your drone for you, I believe. It's up to you how you contact him. I would start by, I would start by leaving a comment on his channel saying, hey, can you fix my drone or something? How do I contact you? He will fix your drone for you for what I think is actually way too cheap. I'd be charging three or four times what he's charging to fix it if I knew how to do it. You know, even if it only takes 15 minutes or half an hour, whatever it is to fix the drone, you're not just paying for the time, you're paying for the knowledge and experience. I personally think he's told me how much he charges. I'm not putting it out on this channel because the price might change and the price is way, way, way less than what I would consider doing that service for. This will be my last GoPro Karma video ever because I no longer own a GoPro Karma. I actually don't have one. Now knowing what I know now that it can be fixed, I'm actually slightly upset at having sold my GoPro Karma. Um, I have sold all my GoPro gear because I was so annoyed with GoPro, I don't even own a GoPro anymore. I, I got rid of that. I got rid of everything GoPro. I kept some of the GoPro mounts 
that I still use with my regular cameras that I've got. I had three GoPros that I sold, the Karma, the Karma Grip, everything's gone. I sold it all. Looking back now, knowing what I know now, I should have probably kept it. I might even consider buying another Karma drone if I can get it for the right price. I used to love the Karma. It was my favourite drone. Um, these days I've got the DJI Mini 3 Pro, which is absolutely amazing. But geez, the Karma, I really liked it. Anyway, this video has gone on longer than I thought. Summary, don't send it to friends. Contact Ben. Watch Ben's video. Leave a comment on Ben's video. Subscribe to Ben's video. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. It's free. Okay, you guys subscribing to channels, it doesn't cost anything, but it does help out the channel a lot because the more subscribers the channel has, the more traction the channel gets, the more YouTube will promote the channel and put it forward for other people to see and will make it easier for people to find these videos. Anyway, if you've got any questions at all about anything I've said in today's video, leave your question down below and I'll do my best to answer it. I will reply to every single question on this video. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, found the information useful or helpful at all, do me a favour, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button for more videos from Mike's Man Cave. Thanks for watching and bye for now.